Thanks for watching. This is the base of the mast. One good thing about the foldable boat is I can place this base unit into the boat before assembling the boat. This will trap the base securely inside the boat. The front part of the boat is higher. This allows the sidewall to provide further stability to the mast. I also cut a half circular shape from the top plastic assembly of the boat and allow the mast to go through the cutout. I loop a rope around the mast to further secure the mast to the boat. In order to make the base of the mast fit inside the boat's cavity tightly, I have to use paper to create a shape. Later I switched to a coroplast sheet. I use a 20 inches long, 1 inch diameter PVC pipe with a T-joint at the bottom and secure it to the wood using metal straps and screws as shown here. The wood block is placed inside the coroplast sheet so the wood will not rub against the side wall of the boat and damage it. I used the fusion method to make a triangular stopper and then fuse it to the wall of the boat to prevent the base of the mast from shifting forward. I tried to recycle things in my junk box. I looked at what I have and created the gooseneck as shown. The mast is made up of shower curtain rods at both ends. I used an aluminum tubing, which is very strong, for the middle section of the mast. The shower curtain rod isn't that strong, therefore I didn't want to extend the overall length of the mast to more than 11 feet. I used spring clips to make the mast assembly to be collapsible for transportation. I used a hose clip to secure a one and a quarter inch pulley at the top of the mast. I add a stay at the front and the whole mast assembly seemed to be pretty stable. I will not go into details on the sail design because I have to change the whole design. I will discuss that in part 4 of the video. I bought the cleats but I couldn't find an ideal place to mount it. Therefore, I used some recycled PVC pipe and made an integral clip on the mast, and it works well. In my next video, I will talk about how I made the rudder, and the problem I have, and how I will fix that. I welcome your feedback. Please subscribe, so you will be notified for my next video. Thanks for watching.